Hey everybody, Smarty771 here, and today we're going to be doing another gun review of the Show Show Machine Gun. Show 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 Shot. I have no idea how to pronounce it correctly. So if one of you guys could let me know in the comments below, that would be awesome. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to pronounce it Show Show. This is a French chocho. -cho. Show It's a piece of garbage, don't worry about it. Leave it to henchmen in Hollingshead. So to start off, I'm just gonna pick a few entries to read from the Battlefield 1 Codex regarding the show show. It was designed and named after Colonel Louis Chocho. It is a French machine gun and it was one of the very first weapons of the First World War or of all time to be designed to be carried and fired by one person. The weapon has the nickname, the worst gun ever, which a Battlefield suggests is an undeserved reputation, but uh, some other reading that I did and also just general knowledge kind of suggests that it actually was a pretty terrible gun. The only problem that I read about was that the magazine, as you can see in this gameplay, had an open side so that mud could get all inside the, the magazine right there. And the weapon would jam all the time because of being in a trench situation. All the mud getting in there would definitely jam up the inner workings of a very early model machine gun or squad support automatic rifle. The Americans created a 30-odd-6 version of the weapon which was actually completely unreliable. The 30-06 weapon was notorious for being unreliable, jamming, and breaking down all the time to the Americans, so actually the French version of the weapon, believe it or not, was better. Now the show show is actually the highest damage LMG or machine gun in Battlefield 1. It can get up to 38 damage at its closest range from 0 to 18 meters and 28 damage from 35 meters out. And you can just draw a graph in your head with the uh, <laughs> with the damage model there. As you get further away, it does less damage. Minimum is 28, maximum is 38 up to 18 meters. That is outstanding damage. That is on level with medic rifles. You could take down an enemy in three shots easily. With a 20 round magazine, you can easily drop four or five guys before having to fall back and reload. That makes this weapon outstanding. Now, what makes it difficult to use, however, is the slow fire rate and also it's not super accurate. Now, what that means is Battlefield 1 has the RNG, random number generator mechanic for the where the bullets go. So if you're moving back and forth or you're moving while shooting or you're shooting from the hip, uh, the bullets are going to go wherever a computer tells it to regarding the variable that it was given for where uh, the accuracy is. It's very difficult to hit someone very, uh, far away, further than maybe 25 or 50 meters, uh, without laying down and using the bipod. That, coupled with the fire rate, is a good nerf for a weapon that is as powerful as this given to the support class. So that leads me to give this weapon the wonderful name of the hand cannon for the support. Now if you're able to be good at aiming, you know how to conserve ammunition and how to fall back and reload and how to use this weapon right, you can easily be on the top of the match like I was in the second match that I recorded on St. Quentin's Scar. I really got into a groove with this weapon, coupled with me playing the objective and being a squad leader and uh, doing my job as a support by resupplying people, but this weapon out fucking standing gun to use. I I know back in one of my other videos and one of the kick-ass battlefield moments I kind of trashed the weapon for being difficult to use but it isn't that hard to use. It is a good LMG and it's good for skilled players. Now anyone can use this and be good but it really only takes you to learn how to use it when it's effective and when it's not. Now it might not be that effective to shoot at someone from across the map like some other LMGs with higher magazine counts would be because even when it's by it has a good amount of recoil compared to the other weapons, but it is still effective in close to medium range. You can hit long range with that 28 damage like I mentioned, and you can definitely be a force to be reckoned with with this LMG. So this actually leads me to actually suggest this weapon for you guys to use. It is challenging to use. It's not as easy as say the Parabellum with its incredibly high fire rate or the MG1917 with the huge amount of ammo that it spawns with and how many rounds it takes to overheat. The MG1917 is actually my favorite LMG to use for that reason. It's really easy to mow down a ton of enemies with it. So, in conclusion, even though it was unreliable and difficult to use in World War I and uh, had a tendency to jam up in the mud, it is a perfect killing machine in Battlefield 1 and I suggest you guys to at least try to use it and see if it fits your playing style. Anyways, if you guys like this, please subscribe and like and let me know what you thought in the comments below. 
I love making these weapons videos because some weapons I hate, like the SMG-08. Some weapons I'm indifferent about, like the Subsolator 1906. But I just, I just love guns in real life, and seeing how Battlefield is uh, pretty accurate to how they reload, or cool little things like pulling the barrel out on the MG42 in Battlefield 5, which when I unlock it, of course, I'm gonna make a video on that. Would you think I was crazy? <laughs> Anyways. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed, and join the Discord if you want to be part of the conversation. This is Smarty771 signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.